Here we have a 2005 BMW Z4 SE Roadster in blue, starting with the offside front tyre first. Tread depth there, easily a good 5 to 6 millimetres of tread, so it looks like a fairly new tyre. Looking around the offside front alloy, taking a good look at the condition. A little bit dirty, I mean you've got a bit of a curb mark on this one side here on the outside, so a potential refurb, but not bad at all really for its age. Looking down at the um, near side, or off side of the bodywork, sorry, taking a good look down the driver's door and the other panels. I can't see any dinks or dents at all down there, looks pretty clean. Around the offside front arch now, I think the bumper's been slightly knocked out of line there maybe. Uh, it could just be me, but it looks a little bit low. Um, on the front bumper, you can see you have got a bit of a split in the paintwork there. Um, so paintwork's cracked there. There's also a bit of a scuff underneath the front bumper as well. I'll show you the rest of the bumper later on in the video. Moving around to the arch, um, again that all looks good. Paintwork looks pretty clean. Driver's mirror, there's one or two very minor stone chips. Driver's door itself, again, just one or two light scratches. Maybe a couple of touch-ins as well on the door edge. But again, looks very well for its age. Obviously it is a convertible. You've got the cloth or the soft top. Um, looks well on the driver's side. Can't see any damage or marks at all there. Rear arch, again, just a couple of light scratches. Apart from that, looks well. Rear tyre, not as good as the front, to be fair. Looking at about two millimetres in the middle, so that'll be quite close to changing. Looking at the rear alloy, again taking a good look at the condition, there's no curbing or any scuff marks there. And moving around to the rear end of the car. Looking on the rear bumper, uh, looks like you've got a slight press here um, on the bumper. It's going to be a little bit hard to see on the video, but there is a slight press on the back there. Um, apart from that, one or two light scratches need a polish again. And that's about it. Take a look inside the boot. I think you have to open this via the key. There we go, unlocks off the key, no problem. Inside, you can see it's in a nice clean condition and everything appears to be in good order there. Moving around to the near side rear tyre. Again, you're looking at about two mil in the centre, so that'll be changing soon. And near side rear alloy. One or two scratches, but no curbing or scuff marks. And then looking down the near side of the body, you've got two small dents. I can see them straight away in the passenger door. The one is very noticeable just there, so just be wary of that. Around the rear arch is fine. A couple of light scratches on the body and touch-ins, of course. We'll need a bit of a polish and a little bit of paint. Mirrors fine on the passenger side. And again, the roof is in good condition. As you can see, no sign of any damage at all. Moving towards the front arch again, light scratches will need a polish. Front tyre, easy good five to six. So just the rear tyres will need changing. And the front alloy, one or two light scuffs, but no real curbing at all there. Moving around to the front of the vehicle, uh, a couple of stone chips on the bonnet, of course, stone chips on the front. You've also got a bit of paint peeling on the front bumper as well, so just be wary of that. Like I said, you've got a scuff underneath the front here also and some stone chips on the bonnet of course. Now taking a look at the interior of the vehicle. Inside you've got the full cloth interior being the SC. A couple of stains but with a good valet it should fetch them out. There's no signs of any damage at all. Front passenger seat's also in a nice condition. Sense console, dash is all fine, gear stick and steering wheel in good condition for its age. And stepping inside the car itself, now we do have only one key with a vehicle, so just one key as you can see, and look at the display whilst we start the car. As you can see, no issues at all starting the car. Uh, the engine management light is on, so just obviously be wary of that. And mileage, 76,489. The car does seem to run fine though, and you've got plenty of fuel in the tank as well. CD and radio, if we just turn that on. As you can see, no issues at all functioning that. Blowers work fine, air conditioning comes out nice and cold. Um, and of course the main feature is the roof. So we'll push that and as you can see, folds back nice quick. And there we go, it's done. No messing around, no issues at all um, featuring, uh, functioning the roof at all. Again, coming back up. 
and there we go, no problems at all working that. Looking at the documents now, the plate is on retention and we're looking at four owners on the car, so four owners in total. MOT expired date here, May 10th 2016. And service history, taking a look at the book, 17, 31, 33, 49, 64. And 68,000 being your last service there, so plenty of service history with the vehicle. There we go guys, that is the 2005 BMW Z4 SE Roadster. Uh, not bad at all mileage for the age, you've got a good history, it's in a reasonable good condition as well, everything's functioning exactly how it should do, and it's not a bad looking car at all for the money.